would say this probably is another milestone in the cooperation between Indonesia and the Netherlands in the field of, uh, of education and, uh, and science. Um, let me take a quick quick step back backwards in history because uh, the student program, I think uh, some of you already mentioned it, was created in the year 2000 at the request of the Indonesian government just after the reformasi there was a need for a, a, a joint, a joint uh, uh, study program uh, to support education of talented young people from Indonesia. Um, in that period of time, um, it was decided that from the Netherlands side, this would be put in the framework of our official development cooperation program, which uh, was pretty uh, large in those days. But of course, since that time, Indonesia has progressed a lot and has developed a lot. It, as a result that our development assistance, development cooperation, has slowly uh, been phased out and at the moment we are in the phase of finalizing the last parts of the development cooperation program. Um, nevertheless, the, the element which remained and which is remaining and which is still very, very important in our operation is education. Education and uh, research. Uh, look at our embassy. If you go to the embassy building, uh, it's, it's a pretty big building, but the, 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 the ground floor is where Nefik Nason is uh, seated. And there are with many people. It's an, an it's impressive institution as part of our total uh, Netherlands present here. Uh, because we think education is important. The, the number of contacts and um, exchanges we have with the Indonesian government, but with institutions such as APDP, with the Ministry of, uh, 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 of Education and the people, um, is quite uh, intensive. So yes, I think we, we are not exaggerating when we say that uh, for all of us here present, um, education research is a top priority. And I'm proud of that because, um, well, I'm an ambassador and I'm 5, 15, 59 years old, so I'm already an old man, but I started like you guys, the students. I started, and the, as you know, in the, my, the start of my career, and my whole career was thanks to education. So I, I invested in my own career through education, and I think all of us did the same. And everyone who wants to progress in life has to go through education. Um, I understand that, um, that we'll have 10 students here now, and you, uh, you will focus on, on water management. I, I love that. Uh, I myself uh, spent four years after my studies in Amsterdam. I spent four years working on a PhD study in Delft, uh, Delft University and at uh, IHE uh, on water management, integrated water management. To be honest, I never finished my PhD because then I, I uh, decided to uh, continue working at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. But I did love my, uh, my stay there and I did love the focus of my work and of my, my studies because water management, especially in the Netherlands, is it's like it's like one of the most, um, how should I say, it's kind of, it's everyone knows something about water management in the Netherlands. We have to. If we don't, we will drown. Like in Jakarta, I think everyone knows something about banjirs, right? And so you have to. And so it's kind of it's part and parcel of our own uh, life. So water management um, is a very, very nice topic to, uh, to, to study. And it is a necessity just last month and you may have seen the, the news uh, coverage from Germany in particular, from Belgium, uh, where we had very, very serious uh, floods. Uh, also in the Netherlands, we had very serious floods, and I'm proud to say that the number of casualties in the Netherlands was very low because of the lessons learned of 20 years ago when we also had floods. But then we created, for instance, a lot of room, space for rivers to, to flood. So flooding, we don't try to stop flooding, we try to uh, allow flooding to happen. Uh, anyway, but I can talk for hours on, on water management, but that's not the idea of today's uh, uh, meeting. I just want to say, uh, good, uh, good choice, guys, uh, uh, going to study in the Netherlands on water management, and I'm sure you will like it. Now, there's one thing I need to, to share with you, and Peter already touched upon it. Um, there's a serious uh, delay in the uh, provision of uh, visa. Uh, to study in the Netherlands, you need an MVV visa. Um, this is very unfortunate, uh, but we, there are very, very strict corona restrictions by the Indonesian government. There are restrictions by the Dutch government. 
Um, we even had to close down the consular section at the embassy for, uh, for a couple of weeks. So there's a, there's a backlog, there's a delay in getting the visa. And we cannot just, you know, get away of that, of that enormous backlog because there are hundreds of students. Today we're only speaking to 10, but I think on Saturday Peter will have a ceremony with hundreds of students who are going to the Netherlands. And it is a problem and we cannot just solve it like that. So the fact is, we have to acknowledge that some of you might receive your visa later than what we wanted to do. And it's, I'm really, I'm, I'm very sorry for that, but I cannot just change it. It is COVID, which has forced us to take extraordinary measures to prevent that people get infected. We cannot have many people at the embassy. We are not allowed to by the Indonesian government actually to do so. We are not allowed to by my own government to do so. So we have to go slowly, one by one, which means that the visa process indeed goes slower than we have to envisage. Um, we are doing everything we can to speed up uh, through creative measures, but it is possible that you will arrive in the Netherlands a bit later than what you have envisaged. When you're in the Netherlands, I'm, I'm sure you will like it, uh, especially when you're working on water management, but also because of so many uh, reasons. Uh, studying in the Netherlands is relatively easy. And I saw the, the little clips, um, I saw that you picked up some Dutch language, um, and I think uh, you will have a very, very good time. So, once again, I think this uh, joint uh, scholarship is a very good example of an instrument um, that shows that we are equal partners for the mutual benefit of both Indonesia and the Netherlands. Uh, very excellent uh, uh, instrument uh, and I'm very grateful to uh, the ministry, grateful to, uh, to DICTI, to LPDP, grateful to uh, so to uh, for uh, making this, uh, this happen. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you very much.